What's up y'all, it's your boy Miss by AP, back with another video. And as you can tell by the title, this week I'm showing y'all how to use the de-esser plugin. And for those who don't already know, a de-esser is a plugin that you use to fix the S's and the sh, like the sh sounds in the voice, because a lot of times those frequencies end up going crazy and becoming way too loud in your mix. And the de -esser is a plugin that singles out those S's and that sh sound out of the voice and allows you to kind of tame it a little bit and, and lower the frequency so it's not like going crazy, you know. And if you're new to my channel, I teach people how to mix, master, and record at a professional level on Logic Pro X by using all the stock free plugins that come with Logic. And I offer lessons on Pro Tools as well by using all of the industry plugins that you pay a lot of money for, like Waves, Fab Filter, that kind of stuff. So if you're not already subscribed to me, what are you doing? Hit that button right now so I can help you become the best engineer you could possibly be. So right here, I have my Logic session pulled up and this is the perfect type of song. It's a weekend type song. So you know those sh sounds are like, really really heavy on this so what I'm gonna do to start off is I'm gonna loop this create this loop that just focuses on this main verse right here and we're just gonna play it over and over again and apply that de -esser and make sure that it's perfect these vocals have all the plugins already they have like EQ compression reverb delay auto-tune right now we're just focusing on the de -esser. so first off I'm gonna go to my track right here verse main and I'm gonna click and we're gonna go down to dynamics and we're gonna click de -esser. And as always guys, you know these videos do take a long time to film and edit and stuff like that. So all I ask is that you just smash that like button for me. It really helps out my channel and helps me keep making these videos to help you guys become the best engineers you can be. So smash that like button for me. I would really appreciate it. So like I mentioned earlier, the de -esser is the plugin that you use to tame all your S's and sh sound. And the way that you want to think about a de-esser is it's kind of like a compressor, but instead of a compressor that tames all the vocals at all frequencies, a de-esser is actually able to zone in on a set range of frequencies. So you can single out the frequencies that make the S's and the sh sound. So I pulled up this de-esser and this is the factory default and I think that's the best way we're not going to go to one of these pre things because I really want to show you guys what each knob does and how to kind of create your own de -esser from scratch you know just in case you you have a different de -esser plugin you know I want you guys to know how to take this knowledge and use it on any de -esser plugin so right here I'm gonna first start off by muting this plugin and I'm gonna let you guys hear what the vocals sound like right now so much left unresolved between us Text messages and calls deleted Your iPhone has so many secrets As you guys can tell, the S's in that little snippet right there They're kind of loud, they're a little too loud for our liking It's not smooth, it's not perfect yet So I'm going to tur turn this de -esser back on And we're going to manipulate it to make it perfect with these vocals So starting off this frequency is where you start off at. As you can see, it's moving it right here. So this frequency is like, think of it as this is the start frequency and this is the end frequency, all right? These two knobs, they control the start and the end. So the S's and sh frequencies in your voice are usually around like 7K to about like 11K. That's normal, right? And sometimes they're gonna be a little different if you're working with a female artist, or they're gonna be different if you're working with a really low pitched artist, like, you know, someone like Pop Smoke or something like that, you know? So one thing you can do if you're really starting out using de -essers is you can actually move this right here. Let's mute it. And let's put a channel EQ on those vocals so that we can see exactly where our S's and sh sounds are in this particular vocal because every vocal is different, you know? And this is a trick that beginner engineers can use to find where that frequency range is, where the S's and the sh are way too loud and where they need some help, right? So I'm gonna play it. So much. And make sure your analyzer is on. Right? Make sure it's on so you can see the 
the frequencies. So much left unresolved between us. Text messages and calls deleted. Your iPhone has so many secrets. All right, as you can tell, I can already see it's like around this area right here, like 6,500, you know, 6,500 over to like the 10K, 11K range. So I'm going to take off that EQ now. We found the range. We found where the de needs to be applied to. And we're going to go back to this de and remember the, the range, 6,500 all the way to 10K, which is perfect. So we manipulated these two knobs to be where we want. And the next knobs to look at are this, the sensitivity knob. It's at 50% right now, and that's actually way too high for what we need. I'm gonna put it down to about 15, 16%. And you wanna think of this strength number right here, like this negative 10 dBs, as how much the, the de -esser is lowering that the frequencies that you set it to, right? So negative 10 dBs is actually a lot. Remember when we compress, we never do more than negative three because it kind of warps the vocals so much that it's actually noticeable to the ear. So you kind of want to think of that the same way. A de can be more than negative three, but you know, I, I don't go past negative seven, you know, and that's rare. So I'm putting it at negative six right here. You always want to do your best to keep those vocals natural and keep them alive, right? So I'm going to set mine to negative six dBs and I'm going to play it and I'm going to manipulate this strength and this sensitivity to the point where the de is fixing the S's while still keeping the voice natural and keeping enough of those S's to where the voice sounds alive still. And you want to make sure that those S's aren't completely taken out of your mix, right? So I'm going to play it right now. So much left unresolved between us. Text messages and calls deleted. Your iPhone has so many secrets. I won't trust ever again. So much left unresolved between us. Text messages and calls deleted. Your iPhone has so many secrets. I won't trust ever again. So much left unresolved between us. Text messages and calls deleted. Your iPhone has so many secrets. I won't trust ever again. So much left unresolved between us. Text messages and calls deleted. All right, so as you can see, I actually had to raise my sensitivity to 17% and raise my strength to negative 7 dBs. And that's just part of the mixing process. You start off somewhere, you can really start off anywhere. You know, you could start off at the numbers that I told you just for a place of reference and you're gonna have to play around with it and manipulate it until it sounds like the S's are fixed and the vocals just sound perfect, you know? And I don't touch this smoothening bar right here just because, you know, I don't, Think that it makes too much of a difference when I play around with it and I hear I don't really notice a difference so I just leave it how it is and also don't worry about this monitor button it doesn't really do anything important and lastly guys I'm gonna play the track with the de that we added today and then I'm gonna also play it with the de muted so that we can hear the difference between the two and see what that de really did at the end of the day um, and let's listen to it right now so much left unresolved between us Text messages and calls deleted. Your iPhone has so many secrets. I won't trust ever again. So much left. And this is with the DS are muted. So much left unresolved between us. Text messages and calls deleted. Your iPhone has so many secrets. So Alright, so as you can hear with the de are muted, you hear those S's and those sh sounds like way too loud. The de just tamed them and gave us some perfect vocals, you know, with nothing really uh, louder than, no, no frequency really overpowering another set of frequencies. So yeah guys, that's what a de does. We went over everything today. 
and I hope this helps your mixes get 10 times better. Thank you for watching this week's video. I hope you learned a lot. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that I can continue to keep teaching you guys everything I know about mixing and mastering to help you become the best engineer you could possibly be. And as always guys, I'll see you in next week's video. I'm out.